to tankless or not to tankless? That is the question. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Welcome to another episode. We want to talk to you guys about tankless water heaters and our thoughts on them. And uh, we've had one. Uh, we The reason we wanted to do this is we get questions often. I had done an install video and people ask us about our tankless water heater. And we wanted to give you the information um, after we have lived with one for the last year. Is mm -hmm. it just over a year, somewhere in there? Yeah, just over a year. Yeah, and uh, just our, our thoughts and uh, help you decide if you want one or if you should get one, because we don't think they're for everybody, right? but uh, we have thoroughly and enjoyed ours. So let's go ahead and, and dive into that. Would, would we do it again? Go through the hassle of buying one and... Absolutely, without a doubt, we would definitely purchase another one yeah. for me. I love it. It's been so much better for me yeah. to have the tankless water heater. So I love it. Okay, so let's dive right into that. Uh, what do we think the pros are? We're going to get into the pros and cons of the water heater. So what do you think the uh, the best thing about the tankless water heater is? For me, it's the endless shower. You can have hot water the entire time you're showering. So if we're hooked up to full hookups, we don't have to worry about how much water we're using. Um, so I like being able to take a shower and feel like I'm not having to rush or to do those submarine showers or Boy Scout showers, whatever they're called. I prefer... I, I've never heard them called that before. <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> so... <laughs> we live in a submarine. Uh, practically, yes. Okay. So, no, that's... Uh, I think that's a great point because um, it, it's not like you take forever showers. No. But I think the, the key point to this is you don't have to race the end of your hot water coming to you. So right. you don't have to jump in, turn off the water, lather up, you know, like just take a shower. Because we're living in this full time, if you're just using it as a, as a camping tool, uh, you may not care about that. But right. we live in this full time as a family of four. Uh, myself, my wife, uh, Eli and Matt are, are two sons. So it, that's kind of a, a big deal to us to, mm -hmm. to be able to feel more like a home and, and less like um, camping, less camping. Yeah. I don't want to feel like I'm camping all the time, all the time. So an occasional trip if we're going out to go camping, totally fine with that. Living in a trailer, don't want to feel like I'm camping. Yeah. So there was just some luxury things that we wanted to do. So definitely one of them. Yes. Um, this, this one was pretty high on your list for doing, but, um, along with that, okay. So you don't really care about taking a, a longer shower. One thing that we like is the recovery time. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is no recovery time. If you have propane, you have hot water. So, uh, we can get all four of us back to back through that shower, uh, quickly. And we can get out the door in the morning. If we're going to something, we don't have right. to worry about the water heater recovering in between or, or doing dishes or, or, or whatever. We just, mm -hmm. we just use the hot water when we want to use the hot water and it's there. Right. So, or even if we had a larger family, you yeah. still could get everybody into a shower in the morning True. and not have to worry about it. So yeah. for Are us, you wanting a larger family? No, no, I am very content with our size family. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge duel there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right now with the four of us, uh, with the kids, it's man-to-man -man defense. That's we, right. <laughs> Any more and we go to zone. Exactly. That's a whole different video. Why are we even going there? Um, so another uh, pro to the, the water heater, I think, is being able to set your water temperature. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a pro and a con later on, but uh, I'm not contradicting myself but I didn't realize that I was going to enjoy being able to set the temperature for the hot water. So if, if I want to take a 106 degree, um, shower, then I just set it there. Right. Or if, if it's a hot summer day and I want to take something cooler, I, I just set the temperature for that too. So I think that's a pro, um, uh, in the, in the pro column, but, uh, for some people it might be a con. So. Right. Because for me, what I do is I just go in there and I just turn on the hot water. I don't add any cold water. So when it's yeah. set to a temperature that feels comfortable, it's really easy. And if you're in there and it's like, oh, it's too hot. You can ask whoever's out of the shower, you know, like, Hey, bump it down two or three degrees for me, please. And it just adjusts. No problem whatsoever. So yeah. So that's going to slide right into our cons. Cause yes. some people might mm -hmm. think that that's a, a, a pain or you get in there and 
it's at the wrong temperature, somebody took a colder one, whatever. But let's get into the cons. So uh, the cons might be that uh, I've heard some people complain that it uses way more propane than their current setup. And for us, it's real. It's it's not a big deal. I mean, no. we've been going on what a couple of months at least. Um, yeah, over a couple of months, and we cook in our trailer all the time mm -hmm. on propane. We don't have a microwave, so everything we cook uh, is usually on propane. So if yeah. we wanted to save propane, we could save it there. Uh, but multiple meals a day, uh, usually breakfast, dinner, sometimes lunch. Mm -hmm. um, so a minimum of two uh, meals a day getting made through propane. So we do consume quite a bit yeah. and we take, uh, you know, multiple showers between um, all of us, um, you doing dishes, we use a lot of hot water. Mm -hmm. So we're not going through a lot with only two 30 pound tanks. So, um, I, I think that's great. We're going to go fill up here soon and it's going to be like 16 bucks to fill up for propane. So, and it'll last us because Another, it's summer right now, yeah. it will last us because we're not using it for heater right now. Yeah. It's going to last us at least two months, possibly even into the third month. Yeah, but so. let's get to that. So it is a con for some people. Um, a lot of the the water heaters that come in your rig, in your unit, are a, a combination electric and propane. So if mm -hmm. you typically use it on electric, you're obviously going to be using more propane because you're going to be now on propane with a tankless water heater. Um, so that, that, that can be a con for some people. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, that can be legitimate for, yeah, for some, absolutely. um, but some of the, I, I think the biggest drawback to the water heater for me is the delay in time to get your hot water. So when you go to turn on the faucet, it's, it, there's always going to be a delay getting that hot water from your unit, whether it's tankless or tanked, um, to, unless you have a point of use right at the sink, uh, to your, your fixture. So mm -hmm. um, there's there's going to be that delay depending on how far your piping is. That that's just that's just a given. That's just physics. I mean that's that's going to happen. But the tankless water heater has to know to turn on. Mm -hmm. So that's usually around three to five seconds. It sees that uh, you've turned it on and now okay there's a water flow water flow kick on producing hot water. So you're going to get a three to five second delay, which isn't really a pain, but the area that it, I think it shows most is when you're boondocking Correct. and you want to conserve water. So you're going to be taking super short showers. Mm -hmm. And if you, you know, do that Boy Scout shower, <laughs> submarine shower, whatever you call it, um, you know, you turn on the water, you lather up. So you've, you've turned it off in that time. Um, when you turn it back on, you're going to get some lukewarm water before the hot water comes again. That, right. That's going to happen. There's really no way around that. So, yeah. um, but for us, it's not a deal breaker for some. It might be, if that's a deal breaker for you, we do not recommend you getting a, a tankless water heater. Right. So, um, and then I think the last con would be having to set your own uh, temperature. And this is gonna get to the use of the unit. This is our recommendation. Uh, we didn't get this from the manufacturer or from anybody. This isn't sponsored in any way. But um, for some people, they don't wanna hassle figuring out what temperature they want their shower at before they get in there. Right. They just want to turn on the hot, turn on the cold, wouldn't you say? Yeah, most yeah, you just want to mix to whatever you're yeah. used to mixing in a home and have it be the same on a trailer. Yeah. But. but I think people need to understand that this is not a tank water heater and you can't use it exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to do it, you need to set that temperature and the reason why if you just crank that water heater up to 120 degrees and you hop in the shower and it's like, man, it's scalding and then you turn on too much cold water, it then deprives the amount of water going to your water heater and when the water flow uh, is not meeting the required flow to turn on, it's just going to completely shut off. Right. And when it completely shuts off, it's cold. It's very cold. And then you're messing with the you know, hot and cold and all of a sudden it's scalding again and then it's freezing and scalding. And, and so I can see why people get very frustrated with it. Mm -hmm. But I think the, the, the problem is you, it's typically user error, not understanding how to use it. Right. So yeah. I think that's a huge, huge part of it. Yeah. But uh, if you know to set the temperature of water, they're really close. I mean, lately I, I've been adding some cold water. It's the middle of summer and it's hot. And sometimes I want a little bit colder shower than I had thought when I got in there. You can, you can put in a little cold water. 
but uh, you don't want to go overboard. No, so. it, it's a very small adjustment that yeah. you barely add any and then you can be like, oh, that feels good or oh, it needs a little bit more. But the other thing that I was going to mention is sometimes your water coming into your rig is a little bit warmer than what it normally would be maybe yes. if it was in the middle of summer right now our hose you know coming in it sits in the sun for yeah. a little bit and so you have to let that cold water kind of go through first and then turn on the hot turn it all off turn on the hot water and then yeah. it totally is adjusted to where you've had it set yep. um but if it I think one other time we've had that happen where the water yeah. coming into the trailer was warmer and it got, it felt really warm. Yeah, it out. was like summertime and the water tank for the RV park was sitting outside in the sun mm -hmm. and it would bake and warm up. And so at the best you would get you would get warm water in your rig even though you only had cold water on. Right. So when the water heater kicks on, it's kicking it on above what your setting was. And so that was probably the the biggest pain that we've had with it and trying to go through those adjustments and settings. There are a few things you can do, right. um, but that's a rare circumstance that we've, yeah. we've run into. That's been once, once or twice, yeah. maybe twice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, those are our thoughts. Do we have anything else? Just that I love it. I would, <laughs> I would do it again in a heartbeat for sure. <laughs> yeah. So if you're convinced that, man, I sure would like to have a tankless water here. Um, we have the Gerard, not that it's the only one out there, but we're going to put a link in the description to that one um, down in there to the Amazon link. So uh, check that out if you want it. And uh, you have to buy the door separate too. So uh, there'll be a link to the, the water heater unit and the door associated with it to, to be able to install into your own rig. I mean, it fits right into the existing, you know, usually the six or 10 gallon um, water heaters that come in RVs. So mm -hmm. uh, pretty easy install. Um, so I think that will do it for us today and I uh, hope you have a great day and we will hopefully see you on the road. Yeah. Why are you so cute? I'm not. <laughs> you are cute. That's why the camera always likes to focus uh, on you. It's like me. Did you see that? You it just focuses it. on cuteness. Just like me. Hmm.